Welcome to my channel and thank you for clicking on my video. I do hope that you'll enjoy it enough to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and of course share it with anyone and everyone. So today I am going to be trying every flavour I could get of Lindt Lindor balls. I'm gutted because coconut is missing. I could not get the coconut one. But when I saw my Sainsbury's had a Lindor pick and mix, I was in there. This video was getting done. Most of them I got from there. There are a couple where I had to get cartons. Most of these flavours I've had before. Some of them I haven't and some of them I am really not looking forward to because I hate chocolate orange and I hate nuts. So we'll get started shall we? I'm not going to give a price because it just depends where you get them from. We all know they are quite expensive. Um, you can get them in cartons, you can get them in assortments, pick and mix, and there's always the Lint website as well. Right, where, where am I gonna go first? I'm gonna start with the ones I think I'm gonna hate so that as I go through the taste test, it hopefully gets nicer rather than leaving one that I'm dreading until the end. So I'm going to go straight in with pistachio. I hate pistachio. But for you guys, I'm going to have a pistachio Lindor. I'm going to try and bite these in half so that you can see the inside. And I am just going to chew them. I love to suck slowly on the ball and just let it melt. But that would take way too long and might not be entirely PG. So I'm not gonna give you a close up of the outside of each of them because they all look the same. It's the inside that counts. Oh my God, I do not want to eat this. I do not want to eat this. It's not green. Oh. Mm. Oh, I had to spit that out. Oh my God, that was disgusting. It really tastes of pistachio. Really strong taste of pistachio. The chocolate's creamy and the filling is creamy. And if you like pistachios, you will absolutely love it. But, oh. oh, I hope that was the worst one. That was just vile. Do I really want to follow that up by going straight in for another one that I might not like? Mm, probably not. So I'm going to go for the extra dark. I'm not mad about dark chocolate. When roses used to do the little mini Bourneville bits, I liked them. I wouldn't be able to eat a whole bar of dark chocolate though. It's just not for me. So let's see what the extra dark Lindor is like. Mm. I like that. I wouldn't say I love it, but I would definitely eat them if they were in the box. I think because the filling is so creamy, it it takes away from some of the bitterness and it's not an unpleasantly bitter dark chocolate. I didn't think I would like this as much as I actually do. So yeah, definitely better than pistachio. Orange or hazelnut? 
orange or hazelnut oh orange i was trying to work out which of the two i hate more i can eat terry's white chocolate orange and i can have some chocolate orange flavored things but orange creams for example if they are so sickly they do actually make me feel like i'm going to throw up and i'm always nervous of chocolate orange flavored things because i never know if it's going to be the kind that i can tolerate or the kind that i really can't i'm just going in This is a nice orange. I can't lie, I'm a little disappointed that the fillings are not the colours I would expect them to be. I thought pistachio would be green. I thought orange would be orange and they're not. But that's a lovely, creamy tasting orange flavour. It's not sickly and it's not overpowering. The taste is much more subtle and delicate than I was expecting because there is quite a strong orange smell from the chocolate. I would have that again and it's not often that I would say that about chocolate orange so given that that was fairly successful I'm gonna go hazelnut I wouldn't have done this if I couldn't have got a pick mix of chocolates because I wouldn't want to be buying cartons of flavors I know I'm not gonna like plus I mean I can't afford to buy that many lint chocolates because they are pricey even when they're on offer. So this one actually looks to have bits throughout the chocolate. Okay, if it's a whole hazelnut, I have a problem. If it's more of a praline, I'll be all right. That hazelnut one is absolutely fine. It doesn't have a whole hazelnut in it, as you will have seen. And the hazelnut pieces in it give it texture rather than flavour. So even though I don't like hazelnuts, I do like that and I would eat it again. I'm going to go for... Hmm. I'm going to go for the mint one. I've never had this one before. Again, mint chocolate. I can be a bit funny with it. So I don't know if I'm going to like this. Given that I've liked most of the ones that I thought I wouldn't, this one I probably will. It's got a very strong mint smell coming from it. It's not even white. I probably should have eaten that one after the pistachio. I'm not crazy about it. It's not like eating toothpaste, but it does have a very, very strong mint taste. I can feel my tongue tingling at the moment from the peppermint. It's very creamy and the chocolate is lovely. And if you love chocolate mint, you will absolutely adore that. But if like me, you're a bit funny, it might not be one for you. It's saying something though that even when flavours I'd normally hate are tasting good enough that I would eat them again. That shows you the quality, I think, of the Lindor product. So again, another one I have not yet tried. This is the double chocolate Lindor. So it's dark and milk chocolate. Before I'd eaten that extra dark one, I would have said, I'm not sure I'm gonna like this, but actually, I think I am. I wonder if they'll ever do a blonde one. My advent calendar last year was the M&S blonde truffle calendar. And basically it was filled with the equivalent of these in blonde chocolate and oh my God, heaven. A triple chocolate one with white milk and dark chocolate would also be a good shout. Mm-mm. It's got the milk chocolate shell with the dark chocolate filling. And for some reason, I thought it was going to be the other way around because I didn't bother to read the box, but it's all right. The reason I went uh-oh when I bit into it is I find sometimes when I bite a Lindor ball in half, all the filling comes out. 
with the half that is in my mouth and just leaves me with an empty shell. And it felt like that's what was going to happen with that one, which would have been useless because I can't show you the filling if it's all in my mouth. I don't think I'm that keen on it, to be honest. I actually prefer the extra dark and I, I really didn't think I'd be saying that. It's not horrible. It's just, it's not one that I would rush to have again. So I've got caramel, white, strawberry, milk, and milk and white. Now I have tried all of these ones before. I'm going to go with the salted caramel. They did actually do one that was just caramel, but they seem to have stopped now, which is a shame, but I did have it and it wasn't that great, to be honest. I think I would have preferred it if it was just a Lindor ball filled with actual gooey caramel, but salted caramel. I do just want to explain the reason that I keep putting these down is because they are starting to melt a bit in my hands. I don't keep chocolate in the fridge because I don't want to get a bloom on it. But I also wanted to make sure that I could bite through these in a way that would let you see the inside. Um, that has a really good, I don't know why I'm showing you the inside because they all look the same really inside. Um, it's got a bit of a, a crunchy texture and you can definitely taste the salt. It's a very, very good salted caramel flavoured chocolate. If you don't like strong salted caramel, then it's maybe one to stay away from. It's not overly salted, but you can definitely taste that it's salted caramel. And I find sometimes with these chocolate bars, they say they're salted caramel and you can't really taste the salt. And I love salted or unsalted caramel, but that, that flavour is perfect. I'm going to go for the original milk chocolate. Honestly, it's so tempting to just put the whole thing in my mouth, especially because the insides all look the same, but I'll keep doing it the same way, just for consistency. Mm. There's not really an awful lot I can say about that. It's amazing. And if you've had the Lindor chocolate bar, it tastes exactly like that. One thing I will say is the day that I noticed the pick and mix had gone in, I couldn't get near it because all the staff were gathered around it, looking at it. So yeah, I had to wait a little bit so it was clear so that I could actually get into it. I'm going to go for the white chocolate one next. Mm. so creamy so good it's such a gorgeous white chocolate because it's creamy and not too sweet i'm actually quite glad i'm not eating the full thing of these because they are so rich and i can't lie i am beginning to feel a bit sick so i'm glad i've only got two left i forgot when i started just how rich they were going to be. And it didn't look like that much chocolate. But once you start eating something so rich, you quickly realise just, yeah, how much it actually is. So I'm going to go for the strawberry and cream one. I don't think I have a favourite Lindor. I just can't pick one. So you can see that's got little strawberry bits through it. Mmm, that is summer in a chocolate. It's so good. A lovely, delicate strawberry flavour and the creamy white chocolate. And it's just the perfect balance. There isn't one overpowering the other. Yum. I'm gutted that I couldn't get the coconut flavoured one because it's a milk chocolate ball with a white coconut filling. And again, like that one, it's so summery. And yeah, it's just delicious and I know that there is um 
an assortment box Tesco sell that does have the coconut flavour in it, but it's got other flavours that I've already got. And so it would just not have been cost effective. And I think it's like £7.50 as well. So it's one of the big cartons. I've saved the milk and white chocolate one for last. Oh, Stracciatella. That's the cookies and cream one as well. I wish they still did that. That one was amazing. Anyway, I'm having this one last because I haven't had it in a long, long time. In fact, up until that pick and mix was installed, I hadn't been able to get it. I may have bought more than one of these. Again, amazing. You can taste both the milk and white chocolate, even the balanced, rich, creamy, delicious. I mean, even though I hated the pistachio, I can still acknowledge it's good chocolate. And any of these I think you would be more than happy with. I am going to just do one last experiment because I suggested a triple chocolate one and I've realised that I can actually, by combining some of these, make a triple chocolate one. So I'm going to take a bite of the white, the milk and the dark and then chew them all together <laughs> and see what a triple chocolate Lindor would be like. They need to make this. Oh my God. Mmm. Yum. Lint definitely need to make a triple chocolate Lindor ball. I am going to go and pop these in the fridge because I'm not going to be able to eat them right now. I'll have them later on when I'm feeling a bit less sick. But Lint, you can't really go wrong, whether it's for yourself or a gift for someone special. You know, it's good chocolate and you can taste that it's good chocolate. I hope that I will see you for the next video. And until then, take care and don't eat the pistachio lint. Bye. There's only one thing I can do with this abomination. Put it out for the neighbours.